Technology. It's our future. It's amazing. But sometimes it's just plain bullshit. The 2016 Consumer Electronics Show's biggest booth was for a new passenger drone called the Ehang 184. It's basically a flying car and makes helicopters look like Dell laptops with wings. But is it safe? No, look at that thing. The tech dance between innovation and total crap is as old as the Zune. And sometimes it takes a few dumb ideas to work up to gold. Here's a look back at some of the trash crap that brought about our favorite devices. Smartphones and tablets really took off with the iPhone in 2007. But before it, there were insane attempts to combine the words mobile and computing. Check out 1993's Apple Newton, the iPhone's Australopithecus, if you will. What could it do? You could take notes on it. You could save somebody's contact, and it had a neat calendar. Could it make calls? Hell no. And back then, the internet was limited to just the Space Jam website, so no fun there, but it did send faxes. And what's more fun than sending and receiving faxes? 1997's Palm Pilot actually sold really well. It had a total of one megabyte of storage. Now, that's 64,000 times less than most phones today. But this one couldn't make calls either. As a matter of fact, it barely did any more than the Newton. And their bright idea was to name these devices Personal Digital Assistants, or PDAs. In 2003, Microsoft tried their tablet, the Mira, with a touchscreen, but instead of being its own device like an iPad, it could only wirelessly connect with your computer to act as a remote control of sorts. So you couldn't take it anywhere. In 2006, one year before the iPhone, Sony actually tried to sell the Vio Mouse Talk, a mouse that also functioned as a phone. They said it would eliminate desk clutter, and boy were they right. After I bought one, I was fired for gross incompetence. Since being fired, my desk is clean as a whistle. Thanks, Sony. Now that our phones are smart, these ideas sound ridiculous. But they came from people who wanted to push tech forward and laid groundwork for today's devices. The Ihang 184 looks ridiculous too, but it's a step towards getting us flying cars, which I'm all about. I would just wait a few years before you try one out though. Hi guys, Mono here. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, subscribe to 8012 and watch all the videos. Bye.